So here's the updated scene that I made for the organic reaction classifications. And these that say 21, 22 are really supposed to say things like SN1 or SN2, E2. Uh, so the type of reaction is what these little tiles are. The sizing of the tiles is something I did. So if I go to scene view, I can select, for example, this blue tile here. It says reaction type. So sizing is really easy. Uh, on the right, you can see there's a scale. And if I make it bigger, so 0.5, you can see that my tile got much bigger. And in the y direction, I could do the same. So the size I used was 0.3 and 0.3. Second thing I did was move things. So the easiest way to do this is in scene view. And if, for example, I want to move this row, I can highlight everything in the row. Because there's actually several things in here. There's the blue tiles underneath. There's the white tiles on top. And so now you can see on the right, in the transform position, y is 1.8 so I'll make it 2.8 and you'll see what happens so I moved the whole row up and I can move it down as well if I put it at, at 1 now you can see I moved it down so 1.8 was what I found was a good way good position y position this game has four column headings and three rows of reaction products which fits very nicely on the screen. Uh, you can see with the game over tile. But if you wanted to activate more, um, you can see they're here in the hierarchy. They're not deleted. So top tile five is here. It's grayed out. If I bring it back, there it is. So here you'd have to move it to be in the right place. So I'd need to move the X coordinate over more. I could do this by guessing or I could do it by mathematics because there is top tile 3 is 0 0.3, top tile 4 is 3.7. So that's a difference of 3.4. So I should make this 7.1 to keep the spacing perfect. And the same thing is true of the blue tiles in background. There are 15, 25. I can highlight them all at the same time. And I can bring them back into existence. And then I can move them over. All to 7.1, I believe. And there it is. So I have another column if I wanted to do that. But you can see then I won't really have space for my game over message tile.